good morning, everybody. This is Dindin TV. Now we have a Cindy here. Cindy, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Absolutely. My name is Cindy Chavez. I'm a member of the Santa Clara County Board of Supervisors, and I am so delighted to be here to celebrate Lunar New Year. Yes, Cindy, Santa Clara County. So uh, for Santa Clara County, is there anything you want to introduce to our audience? Well, first I want to just say what a great partnership we have with the Vietnamese American community. And I want to make sure everybody knows that at the corner of Center and Tully, we have the Vietnamese American Service Center. It's open seven days a week, and we have senior nutrition there. So I hope if anybody's listening and you need services, you want to go to the Vietnamese American Community Services Agency. Okay, cool. So as a council member, what is your priority? My biggest priority right now is making sure that we have housing for people who are homeless and that we're making sure that especially seniors in our community have access to medical care and services. And frankly, not just seniors, everybody. So if you need services, you want to go to Valley Medical Center and we have our own health care program called the Valley Health Plan. So we would love people to come to us and it's really easy to get connected if you go online. All of our work is in every language. Wow, that's so cool. I can simply feel your good vibes and an energy only by simply talking to you. <laughs> wow, so um, do you have any your um, simple idea or any special idea to build a better community? Well, one is that the Vietnamese American Service Center is the only facility like this in the country, in the nation. And so we're trying to add more services there. So for example, if you are Vietnamese and you have a child that's disabled, we have services there to make sure that the parents can get access to services for their children. So we really want people to come there. And the more it gets used, I think it's going to help us develop our programming in a much more robust way in a number of different areas. Oh my goodness, Cindy, you know, I'm a single mom in Santa Clara County. Do you have anything specially for us? There are lots of programs for single mothers and everything from access to SNAP and food stamps to job training to what I'm hoping we're working on now is getting childcare because as you know, as a single mother, so many moms and dads want to go back to work, but they don't have any safe place for their children. So the County of Santa Clara, actually through our president, President um, Susan Ellenberg, are driving a path with, in partnership with the County Office of Education to make sure that every child um, in our community has access to quality, safe childcare and after school programming because you know sometimes we think oh when a child gets a little older they're fine that's actually when we need to watch them the most so making sure we have after school programming is something else that we're focused on wow Cindy I like your character a lot I can feel that soft but strong thing underneath <laughs> resilient and as a woman how you handle yourself and your family and uh, bigger wise community well, I know this is going to sound like a strange message today, but I'm, I was born in uh, New Mexico, and I'm a Mexican-American family. And one of the reasons I'm so focused on the Vietnamese-American community, one, it's a significant part of my district and, frankly, my own personal family. But the other is that I want every leader in our community, every single one, to recognize that irrespective of what our backgrounds are, we have an obligation to look out for everybody in our community. And that's why I feel so connected to the Vietnamese American community. Yeah, I can feel Santa Clara County is such a nice place to live, especially for, I'm an immigrant, I'm for immigration. Uh, do you, like uh, since the Asian haze is getting a little bit strange, wild, but what do you think about that? What an excellent question. So we just put some money aside to address um, hate in our community. And you're right, we've got to focus on Asian hate and Lat the anti-Latino sediment. Like there's a lot of it out there, and especially right now. So myself and Supervisor Otto Lee brought forward a referral asking for money so we could fund our nonprofit partners to do education in our schools to make sure that children learn that we're all part of one family. So that's one thing. But the second is we're reminding people there's a national, I mean, I'm sorry, a statewide hotline. So if you've been discriminated against, we want to know that. If you've been um, mistreated, we want you to call the police. And the reason is, is that we want to address those crimes before they become violent crimes. So in Santa Clara County, the anti we had an anti-inclusion, I mean, I'm sorry, an anti-hate inclusion task force. And that task force is focused on getting those resources out to the community so we can do better education and help people know what numbers to call when they need help. But if you need help, call 911. Yeah, that's great, Cindy. 
So, uh, I mean, I can feel your energy, seriously. Like, uh, vote for Cindy. Happy, <laughs> happy community. <laughs> Better soon, Clara. I would say happy Lunar New Year, especially this wonderful Year of the Dragon, which I am a dragon. Wow. So I'm excited about this year, and I wish everybody who's watching health and prosperity, and I hope you get time with your families. Yeah, thank you so much, Cindy. It was lovely to meet you. Yeah, it was lovely.